oddly enough, we are not necessarily part of this <laughs> national warning that affects about 100 million people, it's right? Crazy, it's crazy, right? Weird. Yeah, it's a cold front on a Thursday, like we've had every Thursday since the beginning of the year, where I usually say it might end as a trace of snow. This time, I think we're going to be too warm for that. It does look like all rain. Out there today, we had clouds coming in. There was a smidge of sunshine early, and yes, some of that was marred by smoke from that fire if you were in the heart of Winston-Salem. And we are looking at those clouds bringing us some rain. And yeah, it's February 2nd, so the groundhog saw his shadow today. Spring officially starts on March 20th, so basically nothing has changed, right? The average high is 62, and the average low in the month of March for us is 40. Today we were at 54, so that was nice and mild. We really started off kind of cold, though, in the 20s, but we're going to get hotter this week. 62 on Thursday, 63 on Friday, and then colder air returns in time for the weekend. Our numbers right now stretch from 30s in the mountains to 50s down around Asheboro. We have very light winds out this. We, we talked about this at the top of the newscast with the light winds. I think we're going to get a similar situation to what we have had out there over the last several mornings. That smoke a little bit thicker in the morning hours, and then once the winds pick up some tomorrow afternoon and when the rain comes in, we should see some improvements. And the rain does return with even isolated flooding possible in our westernmost communities. Colder air for the weekend. We're keeping an eye on a coastal load that's going to form on that front. This time it looks like it may be far enough to the east that we don't have to deal with as much of that wintry weather. Tomorrow morning we've got rainy conditions. Temps are close to 40 degrees. There could be some smoke and some fog around as well. That rain is already inching into Forsyth County and we'll have some pretty steady rain overnight into tomorrow morning. Notice we've got wet weather from Stewart back to Mount Airy. Also along 421, back I-40 down towards Charlotte, out towards Wilkesboro, so everybody in the western half of our area already seeing some rain, and that will continue ahead of that front. So we've got a weather impact day. In fact, days Thursday and Friday will be wet. We'll have periods of rain. There will be lulls in the activity, but some one to two inches of rain seems likely. The higher totals will probably be up toward the mountains, and that's where we're concerned about some flooding because there will also be snow melt. Yeah, there is still snow on the ground in mountain counties. 62 tomorrow afternoon in the triad. Scattered showers in the afternoon. Steadier rain in the morning. Similar scenario in the foothills with a high of 56 tomorrow. Less rain coverage late in the day. Mountains temperatures get into the low 50s. Winds are really picking up. They're light tomorrow morning. Watch what happens. This is tomorrow afternoon and then tomorrow night into Friday where those winds start to get at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. That that is all happening out ahead of our front. So if you look at the wet weather, you're going to see it kind of passing in. This is early tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, after lunchtime, we should get a little bit of a lull. Now, as we head toward the weekend, colder air comes in Saturday. Temperatures are in the 40s. For Sunday, it now looks like that storm system may be far enough to the east. I might even be able to remove that mixed chance altogether. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be nice. All right, you want to feel really old? Next, we're going to talk about the 2022 class for the